Hey guys, welcome back to Stoneheart Alpha 6 with me, Banto. So, we're gonna continue with the previous ended, and I got a suggestion with uh, building a fortified door at this place and kind of like make it uh, so they will have to like go through it. But um, I don't know if they haven't changed it, how the game works, like if they can actually like. Like, you try to break down doors, how it's gonna be like. Uh, it wasn't that in Alpha 5, so I'm a bit scared about doing it because that would mean that uh, they would come some from some other way instead, so. I think I'm gonna leave it for what it is for the moment, so. And we should continue and start building this house that we built in last time, which is gonna be a huge tavern, so. Yeah, I think we should start building this already. Okay, let's start build it. So that's gonna be probably one of my biggest houses I made so far, and hopefully it's gonna look pretty good. Yeah, we can speed up the game a little bit. And I have some notifications down here, so the trade will be back in 28, 27 hours to... Okay, we need to have seven of those simple shares ready, and it might be a problem since we are building this one, and... Um... We'd, we would like to get these like five curtains, but uh, it is not really crucial if we get there, we get there, if we don't, we don't, so I'm not gonna put too much into that, so we could put out some more for the queue though, but uh, yeah, let's do that, why not? Let's make like 20 shares. Because we, we're gonna need really money anyway for this house. Oh, a traveler, awesome. Uh, there we go. I'd like to join your town and a footman. Okay, that's great. I don't remember if we have a footman for this one yet. No, nope. so that's our first footman. Devona, North Point, welcome to our town. That's great. And if you would like to get one of those people inside this town to be named after your name, feel free to tell it in the comments and I will name one to your name. So, let's see what's gonna happen with that. So. Okay, people are having a lunch break, and actually it went pretty far with this directly. We maybe should get some more wood since I'm gonna make a lot of shares, and it's gonna require a l okay, not that one, it's down there, so we're gonna need a lot of wood for this, basically. And I guess the goblins are gonna come from this place again, so we will see if I'm gonna build a fortified door or whatever we're gonna do, we're not gonna do it in this episode I think, but um, if you know if it's possible to like block them or they would try to like go through that way, like they would try to break down the door and that kind of would alert our footmen and so on, feel free to tell since uh, there's nothing I've done before. I, I don't want to screw the goblins up because it can become a real mess. And we're already starting to get a tons of shares here. I think they should, I think they should focus a bit more on <laughs> building the house. I mean, this could work. It would be like an... Oh, that would be pretty good. We could make an outdoor... Not a tavern, but some kind of like... Place where everybody can sit like outside and eat. That would be pretty good. Okay, we're getting a tons of wood from that. And we're most likely gonna try to like make a ladder up here later on so we can get some more wood because... We don't have that much wood close here. We do have some farther away though, so we might keep going. I don't know. But this is a little bit closer, so I might get that one. And it could look pretty cool if we make like a uh, big staircase going down from up here, down here. And that could look pretty good. So I wonder what we're gonna design now. What should we wait with that? What should we do? What should we do? Maybe check out what we're maintaining for the moment. I'm actually gonna add one thick ladder vest just to make sure that we always have one if um, we get new footmans and it will make the footmans be able to take more damage. And didn't I? Yeah, we got on. Maintain only one? I wanna maintain more than one. I wanna maintain about three of these. I think those wall mounted tapestry, they probably can look pretty good, I would say. Trap level 2. The trap will occasionally choose to turn a particular fine animal into a pet. And 10 more in health. The trade will be back 14 hours. Oh, Felix, you got a new level, so extended catalog. The carpenter now has the courage to try more elaborated products. 
And we did get a special chair in the previous episode. Um, here we have it. Fine wooden chair, and it's like random. You can get some different ones. I don't know which craft you can actually get different ones, but we got a different here as well. A fine wooden chair, another one. So that's pretty interesting and a good addition for the game. Makes the game more interesting, like you don't always know exactly what you're gonna get. But I guess sometimes you might not be happy to get the wrong one, but yeah. So let's see, can we choose to craft more since we got that? No, we can't, so maybe that was um, one of the things that wasn't really implanted yet, so... Let's gonna check it out. Job abilities. The copper now has courage, try more. And this was the thing that when he sometimes gets some weird things, like unexpected ways. And level 6 is not unlocked, the, the carpenter master of his trade allows him to come up with completely new ways to using wood. He can make stones out of wood, or he can make food. That will make my speaking of food when I'm talking about the wood true. I guess this is one of the pets, is it? That's a really little one. Let's slow the game down a bit. Befriended by Alton Jondal. So that's a little pet squirrel. And I'm not sure if the squirrels are new or not. It just looks so small, I haven't really noticed them, them before. Maybe it's because they are so damn small. <laughs> and let's check how it's going with the town here. So food is good, shelter is not really good. Uh, overall it's pretty decent. And how many beds do we have? We've got two, four, six. We're missing beds. We got eight people. Nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine people. Okay, we need to get more share, uh, more beds. So maybe we should make some of these uh, simple houses, tiny cottage. Like make uh, how many do we have? Six, seven. Okay, we got eight beds. We got eight beds. So we can make a small extra house here. So we can have one more living here. Can make it pretty close. And start building that one. That's probably gonna go pretty quick. So we can use that way to make our town a little bit faster. Um, we can make custom houses, but sometimes it might be better to just uh, go for some basic ones, I would guess. And Or you can make your own and save it, but I'm kind of avoiding it because I've experienced so many bugs with Alpha 6. Like when you're inside a game, you save a game and you load the game, or basically when you're inside the game and you load the game, the game crashes 100% of the time for me so far. So I'm really trying to avoid that. So it's been really frustrating to record this in Alpha 6, but it's getting better and better. But yeah, this house is getting along nicely. I don't know what they have done here. So we got a curtain that's above the roof here. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> the squirrel is going on on the roof. What are you doing, squirrel? What are you doing there? He's checking out the building. He's the master builder here. Should we... Yeah, we could get some of these fibers. And we do not have that many wood there, but we have a lot of wood resources. And they're shopping down even more. We just need to go and like collect all these things. Alton is busy with collecting wood. Or at least shopping it down. He had started building this small one. But that's actually pretty good because I want this to get done so we have one more place for our beds. And I do not think we have finished this quest, uh, did we? Yeah, we don't have the bed. we don't have the chairs, but it's good, it's good anyway. We lost some curtains, but at the same time we can make them on our own, so it's not really that crucial. A caravan approaches. Hello Bartek, I'm come bearing goods for trade. Would you like to give me 20 hunger stone in exchange for one fire pit? Would like you like to give me 20 hunger stone for exchange for one fire pit? It's this one, right? 20, how many do we have? 6, 7, 8, 9... Oh, let's... Hmm. I didn't know that you can actually like get more of them. So that's interesting. I guess we could place it like in the middle here, so... I thought that you can only like have one of these. Let's place another one close to that one. Or maybe that will be too close. And where should we have this flag? 
Yeah, you can have it there. Have this like a center. I think I'm gonna move this fire pit just a little bit um, upwards. So it's like a little bit of distance between them. So I think it's gonna look better. But I mean, we could make like a uh, town center here. Um, I would guess like making a simple like floor and I mean we can make roads that way. <laughs> I don't know what uh, the game engine is actually gonna think about. We are making like um, we making roads with it. So I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna try it for this episode. But the way I'm thinking about it is that um, we could use this thing where we got it here to the floor and we could make. I guess this one, a bl gray blue. I don't know what color it is. But I mean, we could make something like this, like make it go like this, and like make roads with this. And the thing is that um, I don't know if we can like make it go inside here, or if the game is gonna like really hate that we're doing it. But I guess we could kind of like make roads this way. I don't know. We might try it out for a later episode. So I mean, and we could have like a town square like this. It's probably not gonna look exactly like this if we're gonna do it, but I think you guys kind of like get a point with this. So, I mean, we can have it like go like this and like that. I gotta fill out one more there. I mean, we could make it something like this if we want to have like that. I'm kind of actually thinking about doing it and. I don't think there are, or is there an like safety, safety like amount that you have to be away from this? Since it's the only floor, so I'm actually thinking about trying this, but I'm a bit scared because I think the game is gonna crash. I don't think the game is gonna like this. But who cares what the game thinks, as long as it doesn't crash, I guess. Should we try it? Should we? Maybe make it like that. But you know, if I'm gonna make this, it's gonna require so, really so, so much stone. But I kinda wanna do this. I kinda wanna do this. Hmm, should we do this? Can we save this? Let's save it. Uh, no point to save this, by the way. Since we're most likely not gonna use this for a different place. Um, hmm, let's try. Let's see what's gonna happen. We gotta find out eventually, so. And we haven't seen goblins in a real long while, so I'm kind of thinking that uh, they're gonna start to arrive here very soon. Wait a moment. It kind of looks like maybe that guy that was here before, that wanted to get our like stone for things. I don't know if he actually took the things that I had and. Whoa, what's, whoa, wait a moment, what's gonna happen when they dig away this? Um, I'm gonna see if I can move this out of the way before it reaches there, because I think there's gonna be problems if uh, they do. Come on, move them! Okay, this one is safe. Move these fire pits. Because I'm, I, I'm really scared what's uh, gonna happen when they dig where the things are. I think it's gonna be a mess. I think it's gonna crash or something. Okay, it didn't. Maybe it's gonna crash now when I want to move it instead. <laughs> we will see what's gonna happen. The game engine, it seems to have a really hard time when I'm making this town square. Yeah. And it's gonna look a bit messy since we do not have like um, enough stone for this, so it's gonna look a bit messy. What is this? Oh, it's this stone. And we probably should get some more. This is pretty risky to go down here, but we gotta get stone some way. The game is lagging so much now. I think it's really hard to like, it's really calculating what the hell is going on here. What the hell is he doing with this town? What is he trying to do? Is he stupid? But I think it can look pretty decent and would be nice to have some like kind of flowers and so on in the town. And like one of you guys said, Intel, uh, it would be really awesome if uh, in the next alpha that we'll be able to like grow trees and 
bushes and all kinds of things. It would be really nice. That would be really fun to have. And you know, maybe grow some bushes like this one, bare bushes, or take them up at least and plant them, and maybe take their seeds and plant more of them. That would be really good. So hopefully we're not gonna run into too many goblins down here, hopefully none at all. It seems to be this guy Alton, he's always going and... He's always going and taking the stone and chopping down trees. Goblins taking st Oh my god, okay, this is bad. This is bad. So, actually, can I go back? Where's our footman when we need him? Footman, where are you? Okay, this guy is gonna get screwed. There's nothing we can do against this, so... Sorry for that, Alton. We are going to miss you really, really much. So that was really sad. Tons of goblins. I knew it was a bad idea to go down there. It was like I alerted them. And they're taking all the stone. Are they gonna burn it up? Damn them. Damn the goblins. I want to cancel this. I'm a bit afraid that my... My people are gonna go down there and try to take them. But... Uh, oh no. Oh no. What's she doing? Okay, now, now the AI strikes. This is the bad part about the AI. So, you see one guy decided to... Yeah, run close to town, please. Uh, this is the bad part about the AI. They kind of like take their own ways and it goes in one and everybody else is in town. So we lost one, another one. So there's nothing that we can do about it. And it's really sad that it is that way. I really wish that the AI was a little bit more clever than they are for the moment. Okay, at least we had a traveler directly. Yeah, worker. Come join us. Hopefully not gonna run right into the goblins. Yeah, okay. So show where is she? Wait, what's going on? Hmm. Sometimes it feels like it's better to not have them alerted. Sometimes it's better to have them. Because sometimes they seem to like, I wanna go down, I wanna die, and we lost two people and wasn't really anything we can do and I think it's really frustrating, but yeah, it is alpha, so kinda gotta live with it. Let's keep me busy working. I just hope that no one is gonna go down here now, but uh, I do believe that some might do that, so... We're gonna miss you Alton, we're gonna miss you Scarlet, at least it wasn't our master son Felix that died, so... Yeah, but guys, I think this is uh, gonna be it for today with Stoneheart and really sad that two guys here died, but we got another guy, so it's gonna be hard enough since we lost two people. But yeah, guys, if you like this video, feel free to like it, and if you'd like to see more with Stoneheart, with me, Banto, subscribe to my channel, and you will get the videos once they get the live, so thanks for watching, take care.